Former Deputy PM Damian Green and Health Secretary Jeremy Hunt photo by Leon Neal Getty Images Nigel Morris 11 hours Thursday December 21, 2017 Jeremy Hunt has emerged as frontrunner to become Theresa May's deputy after Damian Green was sacked for lying over claims that pornography was discovered by police on his office computer. The loss of a close personal friend and trusted political ally is a serious blow to the Prime Minister as struggles to impose her authority over her minority government. Whitehall sources indicated that she would not rush into a decision over appointing a new First Secretary of State and could even leave the post unfilled. She is also expected to take the opportunity to conduct a wider reshuffle early next month to inject new blood into her top team. Ministers and MPs believe Mr Hunt, the health secretary, is pitching for promotion from the post he has occupied since 2012. They point to his announcement that he had shifted from opposing Brexit to supporting it, and to his increased social media profile. One cabinet member said, It's clear to everyone that Jeremy is on manoeuvres. He is deeply ambitious and seems convinced he has a good chance of greater things. Mr Hunt yesterday insisted he was passionate about his current role, but declined to rule himself out of the running to become Mrs May's de facto deputy. Obviously these things are a matter for the Prime Minister. But as far as I'm concerned I'm a health man, he told BBC Radio 4. Other potential candidates for the job include Amber Rudd and Michael Gove although they are closely identified respectively with the Cabinets, Aligner, and Diverger factions respectively. Mr Green stood down while continuing to deny unfounded and deeply hurtful claims that he had downloaded or viewed the material, but an investigation by the Cabinet Office found statements Mr Green made on 4 and 11 November 4, which suggested he was not aware and decent material had been discovered, were inaccurate and misleading, and breached the ministerial code. Mr Green tweeted yesterday, I am overwhelmed by the number of friends, colleagues on all sides and constituents who have sent supportive messages. My thanks to you all and a happy Christmas. See you in 2018. Under every government I can remember there are instances where perhaps people get pushed into a situation where they say something they didn't mean to say and we do hold people to very high standards of conduct. Mr Hunt said, in news http